Hey y'all, this is the round two of this, part two of the $1,600 unit. As you know, uh, just quick rundown so far. We're gonna go ahead and take off about $500 for the shelving and totes because we're keeping those for the business. So about $1,100 we have to make back. We've already gone through all of this stuff here in part one, and we're saying we got about $800 in sellable goods. Now, we're going to look at these bins. I mean, I don't even have to hype this one up, right? Like these bins are out of control. Miscellaneous clothing, there's documents, probably not that good Christmas stuff decoration, kitchen, toolboxes, unknown, unknowns, and we're going through it all. So let's go ahead and just swing by the clothing real fast. Uh, polo, Ralph Lauren, we found a lot of polo stuff in here, and we have sold that, and the best way to sell this stuff is to do it in lots. So basically what we do is we'll get a whole bunch of the Polo Ralph Lauren t-shirts, we'll sell it in lots, especially if it is the same size. And that's how you do it, right? Mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and go through this stuff real quick to see if we have anything. Georgia Tech. I mean, that's probably 10 bucks right there. Columbia. So that's nice. And any type of uh, clothing that we don't sell is we donate. Polo Ralph Lauren. So that's good. Eddie Bauer, 10 bucks. Look at this thing. This is a hockey jersey. Oh. This can go for good money. It all depends on. And this is really nice embroidered with the patch. Got a patch down there. Some of these can go for. $10 all the way up to we sold them as high as 75. It all depends on who it is, you know, and stuff like that. So we'll throw up the sold comps on the screen, obviously. Timberland, Ralph Lauren, some more stuff, a white, really nice white looking shirt. Um, Freedom Defender, nice. Polo Ralph Lauren, Nike, another jersey right there. Ooh. Not, it doesn't have, what I've learned about these is if embroidered or patches, usually worth a little bit more money, but I'm sure it's worth something. That one is brand new, brand new Callaway. That one right there is $20 bill all day long. So we probably got about $100 in clothing, I would say. That is a military coat, trench coat. They're usually like 15, 20 bucks. Also, the smell in this unit, very neutral. There is no type of odor, no type of smell, and it is kind of pleasant, actually, that our nostrils aren't burning or, or we think that we're gonna get sick. All right, so we got Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, this one's nice. This looks like it's wool. Oh. Um, can't really tell right off the one. bat. Doesn't look like there's any stains on it, but if that is wool, that's 20, 30 bucks. A ton of stuff here. We're gonna go down the line. Tarp. This is a good tarp without holes. These things are invaluable, honestly. I mean, actually they have value. They're like $10, but they're always coming handy. Look at these. Cobalt, he, the person that owned this definitely like cobalt tools. These are Pittsburgh. They're not worth a ton of money, but lotting this stuff up, they're missing a few. Um, I mean, you can lot this up in a big bulk and probably do like 20 bucks, 30 bucks on it. That's how I usually do my tools that aren't name brand. There's just so much to go through. Let's just go ahead and go through the kitchen. Super light for kitchen. Huh. Yeah, like incredibly light. There's a box in a box. Come take a look at this. It's the only thing in the kitchen. Okay. Right? <laughs> and a small kitchen. Um, some of these actually can go for like $10. So this is just, uh, there's an army man in here. Uh, a light can opener, that's probably five bucks. Um, if you're wondering where my gloves are, I totally forgot them, but this unit is, look at that, I could have stabbed myself with a butter knife. Not much going on in here, honestly. Take on it. Huh. All right, really thought that that was gonna be worth a, a little bit more kitchen. Kitchens can be worth a lot of money when it comes to stuff, but this kitchen, not really worth a whole bunch. All right, this is staring me in the face. I have to open it. Here we go. It's got a lot of weight right here. What is this thing? This is, th th this is why I love storage units, because you never literally know I don't even know what this is. What is that? It looks, I don't know. Big mamber jamber there. Is the box for it? It's a lathe. It says it right there on the box. Come on, use your noggin. Use your noggin here. So it's like a metal lathe. So what is a metal lathe? It spins and stuff happens. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's a lathe. Everyone knows what a lathe is. Let's talk about the thing that you just saw, the quick lathe. Let's go and take a look at it. I did research it a lot better. This is the Model 108 quick lathe. I do have the power source. I'm gonna make sure it works. I do have the belt on here. 
everything looks like that it is here and I do have different parts and pieces and I have never seen one of these before never used one but it looks like they are very expensive there is one listed for $950 but it really looks like they sell between 400 and 600 free shipping so you're probably looking at a $400 bill on the minimum on this one uh, this also could be a local sale for 400 or $500 so I'll see exactly how I want to play this but I'll most likely sell it on eBay but we do have this, we do have the power source, and we do have the other adapters in there that I saw on pictures. I will probably watch a YouTube video to actually understand how this works, but easy, $400 bill. And uh, so, this is probably pretty good, honestly. This is, uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, maybe 100 bucks. Uh, tools nowadays is really where a ton of money can be. Got a Mark McGuire carton. Oh, Chipper Jones. Here we go. Chipper Jones, this could be worth, Chipper's old. That could be worth some money. We'll be researching that. Got Mark McGuire here. And you have a Atlanta Braves. So here's Atlanta Braves, friend. That's uh, old Schmoltz. Not too bad. There's those spiders real. They're just... They're just dead. They're mummified spiders. So they are not... Uh, they are real, obviously, but not... Uh... There you go. What's in this box? Oh, it's heavy. Huh. See, you just unsuspectingly find cool things. Got an old tow rope. I probably wouldn't trust that bad boy. It had a Jeep. The other unit is definitely their unit too. Hmm. There was another unit that went up in this um, storage unit that had Jeep parts, friend nine parts. This is the back to a Jeep, the hmm. tow hook. So these actually run like five bucks. So five dollars right there. All right. Little tree. Oh, it's white a tree. white tree. Kayla's big fan of trees, and she's also big fans of things that look like this. Yes. Yes, this yes, is right up her alley. Oh, check this stuff out. Some holiday stuff. Oh, this stuff's not bad. Found a tool there. Some of these things can be worth a ton of money. This doesn't look too beat up, actually. The stuff for, like, the Xbox. The rest of this right here is just lights. Some really cute looking, you know, ornaments. This stuff is fast sellers. These. When we went to Home Depot, oh, uh, like two geez. Christmases ago when we got married, and we, or last Christmas when we got married, yeah. uh, how long have we been married? <laughs> long time. Not that long. We spent like $100 in just adapters for our Christmas stuff, so decorating, decorations. Hopefully it's Christmas stuff. Super light, not even going to sugarcoat uh, it. Why are they, the bins are worth more than the, is that feathers? There's an animal in here, look. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Oh, wow. Yeah. The only thing in this box right here is that animal and this thing. That's it. Oh. Let's grab this one down here, thinking it was going to be heavier, but it's not. There is no sign on this one. It doesn't say anything. So let's take a look in here. Huh. All right. Oh, she scared me to death. <laughs> I thought I was under attack there. Um, Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. It's a nice jacket, a actually. Peacoat. Old peacoat. This is uh, going to be a whole bunch of women's clothing. Is that Santa Claus riding? Babe. This was made for us. This was made for us. Look at that. Look at You have to wear this. Christmas. This is your sweater. You have to wear that. It's a medium. I'm not going to fit in that. <laughs> Guys, come on. Y'all. This, this storage was made for us. Yeah. I, mean, I, I really went above and beyond, but the $1,300, <laughs> that's worth it right there. I mean, hands down, hands down, that's it. So they have a whole, look at the llama. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. That's funny. Let's put this down. That is so funny. Got another pea coat in here. Rampage pea coat? Feels like it's wool. All right, so there's a ton of scarfs in here, like this one right here. That's easy 20 bucks, I would say. 10 to 20 dollars, the Georgia scarf. There's a ton of scarfs in here. One of them feels like it's uh, like alpaca. Like this, this thing right here feels very different. Alpaca-ish. 100% acrylic. I don't know what I'm feeling. <laughs> so there's some pretty good clothes in here, honestly. There's probably, this is fuzzy. Oh, wow. You put green on that and you look like uh, the Grinch, right? All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and get some of these electronics because they're just staring me in the face right here. My peepers keep looking at them, and I want to peep in on this one right here. Oh, uh, you know what this is? This is a big subwoofer. Yep. It's a Yamaha, which makes me now believe that that's Yamaha, and that's Yamaha, and this is Yamaha, and that's a Yamaha, and that's a Mercury. Who got that joke? I did. 
Anyway, so this could be worth some decent amount of money. This is easily going to be a, uh, could probably, we'll throw the soul comps up if it works. Surround sound system, if it does work, they can range, you know. I don't want to pull this out because it's got stuff here. But they can range from, what, like 100 bucks all the way up to hundreds of dollars. All depends if it's new or not. This is nice. Boom, the whole set. Oh, wow. Not missing one, that's a gem. That's rare. And that's the Wait, cobalt. That's, that's cobalt wrenches, cobalt. not super a lot of money. This, this guy right here is worth its weight in gold. That's old magnet. You lose a bolt, you just whoop, go down there and pick the bolt up. That will be a keeper. Because when I'm working on cars, I'm constantly dropping bolts. These are actually in pretty decent condition. Yamaha speaker. Yamaha, just what I thought. I have a feeling that they're going to work because I just have a feeling. Oh, these are worth some money. These are the huge, now a lot of times they don't work, but these are the, uh -oh. it's a bad start here guys. It's a bad start. Okay, oh. huh. just fixed it. Um, the ones that change into the storage, these things, some of these can go like 50 all the way up to like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So again, we'll be throwing the soul comps up and then we do have another speaker here. So obviously this is their whole speaker system. Like they had the CD player hooked up to the receiver, hooked up to the monster speaker system. So that's actually on a conservative end, maybe a couple hundred. As you can tell, we have cleared out this entire side and really there is not a lot of trash in this. This unit so far has the least amount of trash that we've come across, don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Because we've taken truckloads and truckloads of trash before out of units. This unit so far, most everything is sellable between like 10 to 20 bucks. We think we've already are in the profit. And all this stuff right here, all of this is going to be 100% profit stuff. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go through these two right here. The Commander Extra Extra Larges. And uh, we'll do this, this one, and this one. I don't even have to hype any of this stuff up just because there's so many cool bins that we haven't been through. So we found a lot of clothing. Um, we, it seems like it was maybe a younger couple. Mm -hmm. So we're finding like a lot of young people stuff. We are finding a ton of clothing though. I will tell you that. I mean, you got Levi's, Levi's? here. Those have still the tags. Oh, this is from Buckle, designed by Buckle. Buckle is one of those expensive brands, right? Mm-hmm. So or I think it's a store, but they designed it. So those right there are called Savage. We'll go ahead and throw some soul comps up. These still have tags. I'm a, kind of sad, the guy was a little bit smaller than me. He was a 34, 34, so he's a little bit taller and smaller. And, uh, cause these are some nice jeans. I'd be, I'd be wearing these Lee's jeans. And if we don't, like I said, if we do not sell the jeans, we do, these are brand new eyes odds. So we're finding brand new clothes in here. I mean, to us, that's just eBay gold, right? Nice Georgia Bulldogs hat, pretty clean, fitted. I mean, that right there is 10 bucks. Little squish though. Next. Thing, pretty heavy. I kind of stopped slamming these down because I don't know what's inside of them. I slam yeah. them down pretty. Oh wow, that scared me. I thought that was like a bird, like a real bird. Wings, I'm gonna say a Halloween costume or maybe some um, other type of costume. Anyway, moving on. Camel pack, these are worth some decent money. This one's got like little molly webbing on it. Eh, pretty, pretty nice. These can be worth like 50 bucks, honestly. It depends if how big the bladder is on the inside. It's been chewed up some right there, but you just replace all of that. But this this one's called the Mule, and I actually think that that's a good brand, I mean, a good model of that. A little cool Z, huh? Huh. Good thing right there. Got a box here. Box in a box. A box in a box. You know, we're big fans of that. It's a Shutterfly on it, and I think that's what this is. It's gonna be a whole bunch of pictures. Ooh, okay. Oh, Thailand's Health Foundation, but it is a Yeti. Hmm. They still sell. Actually, Yeti still sell with stuff on them, like 10 bucks. That's not bad. Ozark Trail Guy. That's not bad. Do you hear the wind outside? It is so windy today here in South Carolina. It is like, we're just blessed that we're inside because if we were outside, we could not do this video today. It is that windy outside that it would just be a mess. Um, the rest of the stuff in here, we'll have to go home and take a better look at. It looks just like paperwork in here. This cigar. It's already been cut. Okay. We're going to put this out and we're going to do, what, one more? Let's do one more. We got here. Okay, a lot of clothing still, but right off the snap, Polo Ralph Lauren. 
So, I mean, you can't be mad at that. Like, usually clothing, we're like, meh, because a lot of times we don't find good clothing. But, like, all this Polo Ralph Lauren gear, world champion Atlanta, Bulldogs, 2019. Hmm. And here we go with a really, this one. Oh, this is going to be worth some, some moolah. This is a really cool cat hoodie. Like, from, it actually has cat on it, and it feels like it's really, really uh, well built. I don't know, well built means. Cowboys. Do some stuff. Yeah, Cowboys. And this is branded Cowboys, like an actual Cowboys tag. Hmm. So, some pretty cool stuff. Oh, I want to have a whole jumpsuit on that one. Jumpsuit, what am I, from the uh, 1980s there? They still call them jumpsuits now? Okay, that's a nice hoodie for me, actually. Like, just a run around hoodie. Part three. It's going to start being this stuff. We still have a lot to go through in this unit. Tons and tons of stuff. Big bags. Christmas stuff. Coffee pots. How many coffee pots can you own? Military gear. Miscellaneous junk. Miscellaneous stuff. Really want to get in those. Important military documents. Eh. Probably not looking that. And we still have the big old trunk and some mystery bags back here. So if you would, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, Let's push this video out because it's super cool. It's one of the better units that we've done so far. So I do appreciate everybody that watches. You know I will always catch you on the next one.